Good evening and thanks for watching us here at ABC4 News. After multiple investigations that span more than 20 years, an Ogden man is in jail tonight on multiple charges of aggravated sexual assault and aggravated kidnapping. Law enforcement calling the crimes incomprehensible and brutal. ABC4's Brittany Johnson is live at the Davis County Attorney's Office for us tonight. Brittany. That's right, Emily, the accused serial rapist is um, identified as Mark Douglas Burns. Now, law enforcement says he did sexually assault multiple women here in Utah and in Wyoming. And Emily, after more than two decades, Davis County attorneys, along with local law enforcement here in the county, finally were able to get the break in the case that they needed to put Burns behind bars. Eight counts of aggravated sexual assault, six counts of aggravated kidnapping, Mark Douglas Burns is accused of those crimes and more. Sitting in the Davis County Jail tonight, the 69-year-old accused of using weapons to prey on multiple women living in apartment communities, bounding and repeatedly assaulting his victims. Law enforcement says his crime spree dates back to 1991. But what the information outlines for you, 17 first degree felonies that could put him in prison on 15 to life uh, on each one. Troy oh, Rawlings is with the Davis County District Attorney's the Office. The prosecutor believes his team has a strong enough case to make these charges stick. And time will tell if our office can meet our burden of proving beyond a reasonable doubt the elements of each offense. Linked to cases in Wyoming, Ogden, Layton and Clearfield, Burns has been on law enforcement radar for years. They always had DNA evidence from the crime scenes, but never a name to match it to until recently as a result of technological advances. You can't match up a DNA profile from a crime scene to a person if you don't have that person's profile in any database at all. And so for years, matter of fact, we didn't even know Mark Burns' name in our office until 2019. In a press release, Clearfield Police called the sexual assaults incomprehensible, brutal, and methodical attacks on females, going on to say Burns forced the victim's family members to watch the violent and repeated attacks. And Clearfield PD believes there are more victims in their city. If somebody does come forward and they make credible allegations that can be investigated, vetted, um, and we can make a determination on, of course, we're interested in that. And law enforcement is always interested in that. And we do want to make it very clear tonight that Burns is innocent until proven guilty. Now, Clearfield PD is holding a press conference tomorrow morning where we're expected to learn some new information. We will be there and bring you the very latest here on air and online at ABC4.com. But reporting live tonight, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.